things to know before you start a house cleaning business. Those are the things we're going to talk about today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's question comes from a guy who's getting ready to start a business, and he's got all of his cleaning supplies in place. But there's this little thing in the back of his mind. There are things to know before starting a house cleaning business, and I may not know all of them. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Yes, there is. Okay, things to know before starting a house cleaning business are these. Yeah, you do need cleaning supplies and you need clients. But beyond that, there's a whole host of other things that you can't possibly know until you get inside the business. But I do encourage you to spend some time with a pen and paper and sit down and try to think into the future. We're going to call it future proofing your house cleaning business. As you start your house cleaning business, you're going to have a lot of surprises that come up along the way. And you're not going to be able to anticipate them because you've never been in those situations before. But there are some things you can surmise. And so what that means is if I sit down with a pen and paper and I start thinking in the future, I can think, well, if I have customers, that means I have to go out and bid some jobs. So I'm going to have to bid some jobs in order to get the jobs. In order for the people to call me so that I can go bid the jobs, I'm going to need to do some kind of advertising or marketing. And so you got to make a list. What is your advertising plan? What is your marketing plan? What is the process when you go to bid the job? Are people going to ask me questions? What kind of questions are they going to ask me? What kind of information do I need to have before those questions start coming in? And then you need to decide, I'm going to go clean a house. Do I have any cleaning experience? If you don't have cleaning experience, you don't want to go practice on your first customer. You want to practice on your own house first so that when you get there, you know what you're doing, right? All right, so there are a bunch of other things. Am I going to work alone or am I going to hire some folks? If you hire people, what does that look like? Are you going to hire a recruiter to hire those people for you? Or are you going to hold interviews yourself? Do you have interviewing skills in order to hire the right kinds of people? And if you're going to be hiring people, what kind of questions are you going to ask them? Do you already have a list of questions you're going to ask new hires? And then once you hire the people, how are you going to pay them? Do you have a payroll system in place? There are a lot of people that jump into the house cleaning business because they used to work for somebody that cleaned houses and they didn't like the way it was going. And they were like, hey, I can do a better job. And they just went and started their own business. But here's the catch. Most of those new startup spinoffs fail because the person that skipped off to go start the business didn't have any forecasting in their business. And they didn't think through all the different elements that were going to be required in order to run that business. So we have to stop for just a second before we jump off that ledge and say, what are all the things I might run into and make a list of those things. If I have an employee and they've cleared all my other interview and my security checks and my background checks and my drug checks and all these things, what happens when they call in sick? <laughs> and I have customers that are expecting them to show up today and the employee doesn't show. What am I going to do then? There are a bunch of scenarios that you can kind of walk through in your head and say, wow, that's a, a good question. I don't have a system in place for that yet. And then you need to make a note to create a system for that. These are things you need to know before you start a house cleaning business. Because what I've seen over the course of my life, as I've been in this house cleaning business, and I've hired lots of people and I've trained lots of people, what I find is this. There are a lot of house cleaners that have this high and mighty attitude that, oh, I can go start my own house cleaning company. And then guess what? They go out there and they fail because there are so many facets of the business they've never considered. They don't have an answer. They don't even know what the questions are. And so they go out there and they struggle and they spin their wheels and they're like, well, I should run more advertising. If you don't have systems in place, all the advertising in the world isn't going to do you any favors. All it's going to do is bring more people to you that you're not going to be able to close those sales. You're not going to be able to service the accounts because you didn't ask the right questions for hiring the right people. You hired the wrong people. The wrong people were inconsistent and unreliable and you don't have a business. And I find people that keep coming back going, can I work for you again? Because I tried it on my own and it didn't work out. 
These are the things you need to know before you start a house cleaning business. Not everybody was cut out to be a business owner. And so if you find that you're already in business and you're not a business owner, turn around and get out. Get out immediately because it's going to be quicker to get out right now than it is to spin your wheels for a couple of years while you spin and spiral out of control financially and into debt. So don't wait until you get so far underwater that you can't save yourself. If you've decided right now that you're not a business owner and you're not good at forecasting and you're not good at business planning and you're not good at following through on the details, get out right now and go get a real job because that way at least you'll have money coming in and you can still pay your bills. These are the things you need to know before you start a house cleaning business. All right, so that's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.